Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Cyber Security 4.0. Today we're gonna speak about a ransomware called Dear Cry. This ransomware hit a, hit a lot of companies and uh, once you already hit with this ransomware, your file will be encrypted and you cannot restore them. You should contact with a attacker or try to send any payment to him. So once you send any payment to him, you can restore your file. So this ransomware is uh, it's not difficult to analysis, okay? It's straightforward, so let's start. This is the ransomware. This is the MD5. This is a, is a SHA. Okay, let's copy it. Let's hit here. Okay, let's check the the this is type maybe the type of the file maybe executable maybe .NET maybe DLL. We don't know, so we need to. Usually, I'm using tool called Detect It Easy. Just give me the extension of the file. Okay, so let's open it and check. Once you open it and put it here, great. So compiler Microsoft Visual C++ and linker will be exe32. So that means this will be executable file. So okay, let's try to check at the beginning. Maybe we can discover if there is a packing or not. Usually I'm using a tool called PID. Okay. So if you open this tool here tool and go to PID, good. Open this then close this and check great if you read like that microsoft visual c++ that means this file is not packed and it will uh, i mean import and strings in the malware will be easy to understand so uh, i i discover i this, this give us that uh, this malware will easy to analysis so let's open it in ida whenever you discover this file is dll or execute or executable this we can able to put it in debug and in either pro so okay just put it here and i already analyzed it but i'm just telling you what's the steps that you need to do before doing in any malware okay just say yes I mean, for doing any analysis of malware, you need to follow this step. You need to know the extension of the file. You need to know is it packed or not, uh, and so on. So it's okay. I just need to take some time to just try to compile something, try to, you know, just gather all function and strings, import and stable, and so on. Just take a few seconds. So if you go to import, you will see here open service and see crypt to decrypt and crypt hash script create hash and so other APIs okay get current process ID close handle hit and other clear APIs from these APIs I assume that this file would be easy to analyze and most of strengths or even APIs will be easy to understand to, under, to understand them so if you go to open subview go to strings you will see some strings may be clear other not clear but it's okay mm. Maybe choose them, for example, get socket name, socket, get host by name, and you will see other important string, connect, pin, uh, and so on. So it's okay. I already analyzed this file. Okay, I just rename it API, I rename it the function and the important string. So let's close this and go to my analysis. I, I'm also giving you the report related to this ransomware so you can read about it. You can investigate more if you need to uh, know more information uh, about this malware. Uh, maybe you can get other information, but <laughs> it's okay. So, this is the IDV file. Okay. I'm just giving you an overview of what's happening. Usually, I'm going in main and we see here something like MS update and you see API is called the start service dispatcher. Let's mean here it will create new service called MS update, which is not update, just like fake service. So just like uh, make you hey, there is some updating happening, but <laughs> honestly your file will be encrypted. So if you move here and discover what's going on in this function, you will see something like set service, move some data, okay neglect this neglect this we see here something like generate rse key and this key will be uh, will be maybe hashes okay uh, i see this hash as in readme so once you contact with attacker it will tell you to give him this hash same 
and prepare the Gmail. As I told you, it's easy to unbalance it. This is my word. There's no obfuscation. There is no, you can decrypt something. It's a straightforward. So it's based on the if condition. So after that, so here, uh, just generate hash and email address of the uh, attacker. Okay. And uh, this is the message the file had been uh, has been encrypted if we move move we see here when directly just like uh, you know it need to move in all directories so you need to encrypt all file so you just list some directly list some some extension like for example here if we move down move down and click temp application data and the program files okay so after that it will you know generate a public key uh, which will use for encryption and uh, after generated the bold key, we see get logical driver, which is list the current driver. Okay, so let's name to encrypt the file of them and get the type of this driver. Okay, so move down, move down. So okay, just get the driver type and start encryption. Here usually in encryption it will search for file and loop and get another file and another data and so on. So if you move down, move down. Okay. Just to get the file, all the file, and move down. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to show you some extensions that this one somewhere target them. For example, this is the extension that this malware target them uh, BDF, XL, uh, BBS, BBT, and so other extension. Okay, and it will continue target this extension start encrypted and at each encrypted at each in, at each, in, each encrypted uh, file you it will put something like read me for uh, contact with an attacker and uh, tell them hey i need to restore my file okay so move down move down okay move down move down you see here uh, okay i add data and uh, see here find next file which means that it will next another file once it completed encrypted this file to loop until it is the whole files of the in the current directly okay so after finishing okay just close file and okay at the end it will put something like readme.txt and that's only <laughs> nothing more if there is error it will display some error you will, you will find a lot of information in my report i'm just giving you an overview of what's going on in this malware so let's run the malware okay so this malware is execute the type of the malware is this file is executable so we need to rename it okay say exe and yes okay so let's try to put some data for example let's say okay let's say something like uh, Something like hello and close this good so try to run the malware good and just a bit sometime because usually it will search for all files in your machine target some extension and start encrypting them so if you if you're if you're uh, I mean, if you have a lot of files, so that means a lot of time. So once is this file already encrypted, or mean, I mean, once the all file already encrypted, so you can able to restore. Yeah, you can. You will see that this file already encrypted. So let's wait little time, and after time, you will see that this file had been encrypted. Even I, I wrote some data here. So let's check if this data will be appeared or not. So just wait a little. Okay, we see here something like data the text dot cry pt. This is the extension of the malware, and we need to open this data. For example, I'm using a hex editor or maybe any other tools. Uh, not here, not here. Okay, just to go to other tool like uh, hex editor. I'm just need to check if this file what this file contain. Okay, what's going on? Okay, so let's uh, wait a little. Okay, close this and this is the file good 
and try to put the straight little good and try to put here we see here just try and this is the the key that had been encrypted with it so that's only <laughs> you cannot read anything if you already have in document any any pdf other things you will not read anything remember i said here hello world but you will see as of this this port had been encrypted and we didn't see any other data you can also check my my blog if you wanna see yeah i already published my blog you you can able to see some details related to malware okay so thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye